Hey, how are the sports right here with Sean Gibson, uh, manager extraordinaire, man. Uh, tell us, uh, we're here, uh, Ruiz versus uh, Ariola. It's a beautiful SoCal day. Fans are finally back in the in the building. Uh, how excited are you, are you for this fight? How's it going to turn out? I'm, I'm thrilled, man, to be part of history, too, because this is the first fight back in Southern California with fans. Um, to get a chance to see Chris Ariola, to see Andy Ruiz, to see the towering inferno, Sebastian Fandora, up and coming Jesus Ramos. I think it's going to be a spectacular card. And unfortunately, we just missed uh, a Sa e a Sandra Lara. <laughs> just right, yeah, he won, round. I heard <laughs> you know, from out here. Well, you know what? I have so many great memories here, and I affectionately know the places the StubHub Center, right. Orlando Salido, uh, Israel Vasquez, and Marquez. So. Those, those were those are Home Depot Center days. Yeah, right. I, yeah. I still know the place of StubHub or Home Depot. Right, yeah. Can't even pronounce Dignity, whatever right. Health Center. But, but yeah, it's going to be a good night, and I think it's going to be a lot of great fights. Definitely, man. Uh, let's get into it, man. Manny Pacquiao, a lot of rumors. The rumor mill's going crazy. First it was Terrence Crawford. Uh, you know, the rumors just say that maybe that's kind of dead in the water. What, what could you tell us? Well, at the moment, um, yeah, definitely the Terrence Crawford. It was a non-starter before it ever started. Um, you know, a lot of people tried to put this stuff stuff together financially. It was never really there. So now it's back on to fights like hopefully Mikey Garcia, to me, is the perfect fight at this point in a senator's career, where he's at, the layoff. So there's a lot of different avenues and um, offers trying to put that fight together. So I really, really hope that it's the next fight in the next few months would be Mikey Garcia. Man, that'd be great. Uh, you know, Mikey obviously is uh, a great fighter uh, himself. That kind of reignites the, the Mexico-Filipino rivalry a, a little bit too. Yeah. Um, with Mikey, I guess kind of, you know, I can think with the zone, uh, Manny, I, I don't know, does he have any like TV associations right now? Or is he kind of free agent wise? It's it not going to be hard to make a deal with him? Yeah, no, with all their TVs, everybody, whatever, there's no problem at all. And um, you know what I like about Mikey? The guy lost one time in his career. And everybody looks at him like like he's not uh, up to the challenge or capable. I'm like, dude, the guy lost to Earl Spence. And nothing wrong with that. The guy was about a two or three time world champion. He beat Broner. He knocked out that uh, Delcon, whatever. So, you know, at this point where Manny's at in his career, he deserves to have, like, it's not, a, it's not an easy fight. But those are the type of fights, and I think they match up very well, too, for the fans. But, you know, if financially it could be put together, then there's no problem making a fight like that. That's That has, like, war written all over it, I feel. I mean, yeah. you know, Mikey's very very strategic, very tough. Mm -hmm. You know, come forward. Manny, obviously, you know, hasn't missed a step. He's 40, you know, what, what is he, 40, 42. 42? I mean, that's incredible yeah. that he's uh, in the shape he is. How is Manny now? Is he kind of currently working out? How is he doing over there in the Philippines? Physically, he always keeps himself in great shape, plays a lot of basketball. He doesn't eat anything bad i mean this guy's never i haven't seen him put a piece of chocolate in his mouth let alone <laughs> anything else so so no he always maintains his condition that's just a lifestyle for him so um if something could come together he's you know he's in the philippines it's a little more difficult because of the coronavirus is still spiking pretty heavy there but he's always always prepared always doing something he's a senator so he's working every day he's up you know when you do it for 25 26 years it's just like He's second fiddle. You get up, you work out, you do a little run, you do whatever. So he's always ready to go. Would would he be coming here to California to, to be training under under Freddie Roach again at the wild card? Was yeah, that, was that I, the game plan? Yeah, I believe plan? if a fight could come together, you know, he'll he spends his 30, 45 days here, and um, and that would be it. And then figure out you know wherever the fight is from there. Uh, just kind of lastly on the Mikey uh, Pacquiao situation. If that were to happen, do you feel that's kind of maybe like a Saudi Arabia type deal, like the way uh, you know Joshua? Uh, uh, or uh, Fury seems to be going. I mean, is that, is that kind? Of, I mean, obviously, all, all uh, everything's on the table, right? Everything's right. everything's you're open to anything. Well, it seems difficult right now in the all over the world, the UAE, Dubai. Um, so it's really hard to say. You know, whoever comes up first um, with the deal, then probably that's where the fight would go. We're well, looking forward to it, Sean. Any anybody else? Any other prospects you got going on? You want to tell us about? Tell the fans about? Well, of course, you're going to see uh, Michael Hot and Spicy Das Marinas take on a huge challenge June 19th against uh, Anoe the Monster. You got the return of John Real Casimero against Guillermo Rigondeaux August 14th, and um, a kid to keep an eye on when the Olympics come around is Yumir Felix Marshall for the uh, Philippines 165 pounder. Uh, be representing them so. That's it, and then there's you know just some other guys, um, you know, just come out of the woodworks occasionally. If they're if they're working with Sean, then you know you got you got to keep your name on it, man. Tell Absolutely. the fans where they can follow you and uh, and you know see see the progress of everything going down. Yep, always follow uh, Knucklehead Sean um, on Instagram, Facebook, whatever, and that's where it's all happening.
Excellent. Thank you, sir. Appreciate your time. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Yeah.